Hi friends, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sigrid and I make videos about books because I love them. Today I'm going to be doing my monthly book of the month unboxing. I do this every single month or at least I try because this video is going to have two months worth um, of books. I have two accounts so I get two boxes every month. So in today's video I will be unboxing four boxes total. So let's just dive right in. Okay, so I'm going to start with September's boxes. They're kind of small, so I don't think I picked a lot of books for this particular month. The first book that I picked was uh, The Fortunes of Jaded Women. It started with their ancestors, Owen, who dared to leave her marriage for true love. So a fearsome Vietnamese witch curse Owen and her descendants so that they would never know love or happiness. And the Duong women would give birth to daughters, never sons. Owen's current descendant, Maui, knows this curse well. She's divorced and after an explosive disagreement a decade ago, she's estranged from her younger daughters, Pin Pham, the middle and the mediator, and Kuyin Lam. This is very difficult. Um, and Kuyin Lam, the youngest who swears she just runs humble coffee shops and nail salons, not little Sagans underground. Though Maui three adult daughters, Priscilla, Thoi, and Theo, have found success in their careers, one of them is John Cho's dermatologist. The same can't be said for their love lives. Maui is convinced they might drive her to an early grave. Desperate for guidance, she consults Auntie Hawaii, her trusted psychic in Hawaii, who delivers an unexpected prediction. This year, her family will witness a marriage, a funeral, and the birth of a son. The prophecy will reunite estranged mothers, daughters, aunts, and cousins for better or for worse. And then the second book that I picked was The Lies We Told. I recently discovered that this is like going to be like a TV series or a movie. And so I was like, I have to get the original book. So this is The Lies We Told by Camilla Way. This is a thriller. A daughter. Beth has always known there was something strange about her daughter, Hannah. The lack of emotion, the disturbing behavior, the apparent delight in hurting others. Sometimes, Beth is scared of her and what she could be capable of. A son. Luke comes from the perfect family with the perfect parents. But one day, he disappears without a trace and his girlfriend, Clara, is desperate to discover what has happened to him. A life built on lies. As Clara digs into the past, she realizes that no family is truly perfect and uncovers a link between Luke's long-lost sister and a strange girl named Hannah. Now Luke's life is in danger because of the lies once told and the secrets once kept. Can Clara find him before it's too late? Wow. Okay. So that is really interesting. And we also got a bookmark which says, Friends don't let friends dog ear books. Facts. <laughs> so that was everything in the first box. Let's move on to the second. Okay, the first book that I got, I'm super excited to read this. Um, this is Killers of a Certain Age by Deanna Rayborn. I am so excited to read this. They've spent their lives as the deadliest assassins in a clandestine international organization. But now that they're 60 years old, four female friends can't just retire. It's kill or be killed. In this action-packed thriller by best-selling Edgar Award nominated Arthur Deanna Rayborn. Billy, Mary Alice, Helen, and Natalie have worked for the museum, an elite network of assassins for 40 years. Now their talents are considered old school and no one appreciate what they have to offer in an age that relies more on technology than people skills. When the foursome is sent on an all expenses paid vacation to mark their retirement, they are targeted by one of their own. Only the board, the top level members of the museum, can order the termination of field agents. And the woman realizes they've been marked for death. Now to get out alive, they have to turn against their own organization, relying on experience and one another to get the job done, knowing that working together is the secret to their survival. They're about to teach the board what it really means to be a woman and a killer of a certain age. This is so cute. I love this. I can't wait to read this. And my add-on I got was The Most Likely Club by Alyssa Friedman. In 1997, grunge is king. Titanic is a blockbuster, and blockbusters still exist, and Thursday nights are for friends. In Bell Park, Connecticut, four best friends and high school seniors are ready to light the world on fire. Melissa Levin, Priya Chowdhury, Tara 
Taylor and Suki Hammer are going places. Their yearbook superlatives confirm it. Most likely to win the White House, cure cancer, open a Michelin starred restaurant, and join the Forbes 400. Fast forward 25 years later and nothing has gone according to plan as the women regroup at their dreaded high school reunion. When a forgotten classmate emerges at the reunion with a surprising announcement, the friends dig out the yearbooks and rethink their younger selves. Is it too late to make their dreams come true? Fueled by nostalgia and one too many drinks, they form a pact to push through their middle age angst to bring their teenage aspiration to fruition dubbing themselves the most likely girls. Through the ensuing high and lows, they are reminded of the enduring bonds of friendship and the ways our childhood dreams both sustain and surprise us and why it's deeply uncool to peak in high school. Cute. This is really cool. So super excited about that. And we also get the same bookmark. Okay, so those were both boxes for September. So we're gonna move into October's boxes. So in my first box, I got three books. Okay, so the first one is Thistlefoot. This one looks so cool. The Yaga siblings, Bellatine, a young woodworker, and Isaac, a wayfaring street performer and con artist, have been estranged since childhood, separated both by resentment and by wide miles of American highway. But when called to receive a mysterious inheritance, the siblings are reunited only to discover that their bequest isn't land or money, but something for a stranger. A sentient house on chicken legs. Thistlefoot, as the house is called, has arrived from the Yaga's ancest ancestral home in Eastern Europe, but not alone. A sinister figure known only as the Long Shadow Man has stalked it across continents, bearing violent secrets from the past. Fiery memories that have hidden in Isaac and Bellatine's blood for generations Memories that have begun to awaken. As the Yaga siblings embark with Thistlefoot on a cross-country theater tour, the Long Shadow Man follows in relentless pursuit, as do the specters of history, including the forgotten fate of a small, I have no idea how to say this word, uh, Chatel, and the house's original inhabitant, Baba Yaga. Ultimately, time, magic, and legacy must collide, erupting in a powerful con conflagration conflagration to determine who gets to remember the past and craft a new future hmm. so the thing about it is like these books have been like just in my book room closet for a while and I don't even remember picking this or why it doesn't sound as interesting when I'm reading it now but I mean I'll still give it a try now this one I am the most excited about so this one is a thriller it's called The Family Game by Katherine Steedman Number one, listen carefully. Two, do your research. Three, trust no one. And four, run for your life. Harriet Reed, a novelist on the brink of literary stardom, is newly engaged to Edward Holbeck, the heir of a powerful family. And though e Edward has long tried to sever ties with them, news of the couple's imminent marital bliss has the Holbergs inching back into their lives. As Harriet is drawn into their lavish world, the family seems perfectly welcoming, so when Edward's father, Robert, hands Harriet a tape of a book he's been working on, she is eager to listen. But as she presses play, it's clear that this isn't just a novel, it's a confession. A confession to a grisly crime, a murder, and suddenly, the game is in motion. Feeling isolated and confused, Harriet must work out if this is part of a plan to test her loyalty or something far darker. What is it that Robert sees in her? What gives her the power to destroy everything? This might be a game to the Hallback family, but for Harriet, losing might prove deadly. So I got this one because it reminded me a little bit of Verity by Colleen Hoover. If you haven't read that book, it's about a woman who is uh, ghostwriting for another author who is like, uh, I think she's like in a coma or something, uh, but she's like still in the house and she goes to the house and to get like her manuscripts and things to help writing and she finds this weird manuscript that's kind of like a an autobiography and it's like horrible stuff written in it it's like a confession of her doing all of these horrible things it's so good the collector's edition just came out and she released a bonus pay like bonus chapter so good i haven't read it yet but I have read Verity and it's so good, five stars. But I got this because it reminded me of it. And lastly, I got The Kiskers by Erin Sterling. This is the second book 
uh, to the X-Hex, which I also have, I believe. I have it somewhere in here. Gwen Jones is perfectly happy with her life in Graves Glen. She, her mom, and her cousin have formed a new and powerful coven. She's running a successful witchcraft shop, Something Wicked, and she started mentoring some of the younger witches in town. As Halloween approaches, there's only one problem. Llewellyn Wells Penhollow. Wells have come to Graves Glen to reestablish her family's connection to the town they founded and to make a new life for himself after years of becoming the dutiful son of Wells. When he opens up a shop of his own, Pen Hollows just across the street from something wicked, he quickly learns he's gotten more than, the, than he bargained for in going up against Gwen. When their professional competition leads to a very personal and very hot kiss, both Wells and Gwen are determined to stay away from each other. Convinced the kiss was just a magical fluke, but when a mysterious new coven of witches comes to town and Gwen's powers begin fading, she and Wells must work together to figure out just what these new witches want and how to restore Gwen's magic before it's too late. Oh, I love a good witch book. I do. So I think I already have the first book. So I mean, I, I had to get the second one. And we get a bookmark that says, I put my shelf first. Okay, so that was everything in the first October box. So we're on to the very last box in the video. I only picked one book for uh, for this account and that was signed here. I was super excited about it. It sounds really, really cool. Theo Trip has a pretty good gig in the deals department on the fifth floor of Hill. Sure, none of the pins work. The coffee machine has been out of order for a century and the only drink on offer is Jägermeister. But Pei has a plan and all he needs is one last member of the Harrison family to sell their soul. When the Harrisons retreat to the family lake house for the summer with their daughters Mickey's precocious new friend Ruth in tow, the opportunity Pei has waited a millennium for might finally be in his grasp. And with the help of his charismatic co-worker Calamity, he sets a plan in motion. But things aren't always as they seem on earth or in hell. And as old secrets and new dangers scrape away at the Harrison's shiny surface, revealing the darkest revealing the darkness beneath everyone was faced the consequences of their choices so i think it's really unique that we have a main character that literally works in hell this is really cool um so super excited we also got another bookmark um yeah so <laughs> that was everything that i have in my book of the month unboxings for both september and october um i do want to show you guys my shirt this shirt is from uh, Hello Lovely. I am now a rep for them. So if you have any interest in getting their book boxes or their shirts or any other merch, I do have a code for you guys. It is uh, Books in Beauty 15. I'm super excited. You will save 15% off your entire order. Doesn't matter what you buy, it works on everything. So if you're interested in it, please go and check it out. I will be doing an unboxing for them pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I have for you guys today. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>